Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In this week episode I'm going to talk about Node.js and how to solve vulnerability issues within your Node.js project. How can you solve dependencies on third-party uh, uh, packages uh, that have vulnerability issues? Well, we will see how to do that. For that, I have two packages. One is two chest and just a package where you will have certain things, right? You will have uh, an Angular application. And then of course you will have some dependencies, some normal dependencies and some, some dev dependencies, right? Great. And then we have also a universal application and I'm just going to use these two applications to show you a little bit how to do so. So first of all, you need to know that you can audit uh, third party vulnerabilities with NPM audit. It's very important to look into it because it can be that you say, okay, I create very secure uh, code within uh, Node.js or within my front-end application, but it can be that a third-party application has a lot of vulnerability issues. And then, of course, your application is not secure enough. So it's very important to do so. And I can recommend you to put it into your uh, continuous integration uh, flow or something like that and really try to solve these kind of issues so that you are always up to date and have a very secure application. So for that, we have MP, NPM audit. So when I run this, you will see that he will provide an audit on top of your application. I run this with NPM version seven. So I will show you, look, we have now uh, 65, uh, uh, 62, sorry, vulnerabilities, 38 lows, five mid, uh, moderate, 18 high and one critical. So if we look a little bit deeper into it, you will see here that we have certain things that are being reported here so it's great you will see here that depends on that and it depends on that and then depends on that and blah 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 and then of course here you will find some kind of information sometimes it's nice to only do it with for example the highs and the criticals because of course that's the ones that you want to solve first so when you want to focus a little bit more on that, you can also exclude the other ones that you only see what is critical or what is high, and then you just update it. Another thing to do is indeed just do npm audit fix, but if you do npm audit fix or npm audit fix dash dash force, you don't know what it's going to do with your application. It can be that it burns up certain versions and that you don't want that or that it will break your application. So be aware of that try to put it into a separate branch in my opinion would help you a lot uh, for that so i recommend you to create another branch then try these kind of things out and then of course merge it in when everything works fine so if you only want to have an audit on your dependencies you can do npm audit dash dash production. And when you do so, you will see that we have zero vulnerabilities because yeah, it's an Angular project. And of course that team also looks into it and sees that there are no vulnerabilities, right? One of the things that I want to do here is for example, npm install low dash. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to add it course uh, you'll see that we have one vulnerability or less of course um, and then if I do it again you will see that we still have zero uh, vulnerabilities but again I know that in a certain low version 
there are vulnerabilities so i'm going back here i'm just going to use another version of lodash here a lower one i don't know one for example npm install And of course, I did one mistake. I need to uh, remove here uh, Lodash. So what I'm gonna do here is just remove everything, right? And yeah, you can very easily do mpx remove node modules, right? It's, it's a very great tool. I use it a lot. So um, uh, do you wanna proceed? Yeah. Now I'm just going to remove everything. So he did normally. I'm going to refresh here. You see, we don't have a node module uh, folder. I do npm install. He's going to reinstall everything there. And normally you will have a little bit more vulnerabilities now. And I will also show you how you can check which packages have vulnerabilities. Uh, there is a great website to do so. Of course, this takes a little bit. So, right, so we have 62 vulnerabilities um, after our install, right? Um, and we have now Lodash, which has a vulnerability in there. So if we now do here a check on that, we do npm audit dash dash production, right? And then of course, you will see that um, we have just one uh, high severity uh, vulnerability. Now, what I want to do here is npm fix, of course, and then we want to have dash dash force because we want to force it. And because like we see we see here will install lodash which is outside the stated dependency range and because it's just one it's it's easy to do so we can just very easily overcome that so and then of course here you see that he is updating lodash to version 4.17.21 which is outside your stated dependency range so it's gonna do that i'm just gonna i'm just gonna close this one but like we saw here it's low dash 4.17.5 and then of course if i close it we'll see what it will do there right It's just trying to resolve everything here. So again, this can take a little bit longer than that you expect it to be, right? But it just solves everything there. Also there, it's nice to uh, to, to maybe have it installed into your um, CD or CI environment so that you are always up to date with the latest versions and have no vulnerabilities there. But again, it can break certain things. It can have some unexpected behavior, of course, if it just do, do if it just does that automatically. So it depends on your application and on your situation itself. But it's, it's good to try it out. Um, in my opinion, I'm more in favor of just testing this out, see what vulnerabilities there are, and then just manually pick them out, try to solve them yourself, or first try to solve them with the npm uh, npm audit fix force, 
and then if there are problems just try to do it uh, manually right so afterwards you get also some information about removed six packages changed one package and audited 1207 packages in two in two minutes so he found zero vulnerabilities so our vulnerabilities are being resolved right so that's great thumbs up for our our case right so one thing i want to sh still show you is the sneak uh, website it's a very great website to check for vulnerabilities for packages and so on so let's go and see and discover about that you see here that we have a vulnerability database uh, npm low dash and then you see here low dash vulnerabilities low dash modular utilities you see what the latest version is you see first published it's nine years ago right and the latest version published is a month ago so that's great and then here you see the vulnerabilities which is high comment injection in 4.17.21 so if you're going to take a look at this one for example you will see a little bit more about the explanation what it is what the problems are that's been caused by that and so on you see the attack factor and so on the complexity and the interactions so a great resource to check what the vulnerabilities are if you're going to use certain um a certain package right then of of course it's nice to to go and get some extra info about it cvs score is also something that's very nice and easy to see see here that's a high severity so if you go and take a look at the home page then you will see here that one that the product is develop fast stay secure find and fix security vulnerabilities in your open source libraries right so a great tool if you have the opportunities to do a demo great i can recommend it to you it's great to integrate it with uh, your ci or cd uh, environment and to have it in your uh, release or deployments flow so thank you very much for watching i hope you can now uh, eliminate certain vulnerability uh, issues with third-party uh, packages within to your node.js and npm um, project right so thank you very much give it a thumbs up if you liked it uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel i really appreciate that uh, thank you very much and see you next time bye